Hey guys, what's up? Uh, another No Limits Life here. We are doing, I would say a catch, clean, and cook, but it's already been caught, cleaned, so we're just doing a cook. Uh, what I have here is a nice half of a king salmon filet. Um, I zippered the bones out of it, and my wife made a glaze out of, what was it, teriyaki? No, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Honey. Honey. Garlic. Garlic. Olive oil. Olive oil. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Salt. Pepper. Um, lemon. I think that's it. I think that is it. And she marinated it most of the afternoon, kind of rotating it between sides. So what I'm going to do, trust me, this is, if you've never had king salmon, we're lucky enough to live 30 minutes from Lake Michigan. So we got some nice uh, wild caught uh, king salmon here. Uh, whether you live by the ocean, uh, Pacific Ocean, or Lake Mid one of the Great Lakes, get out and try and get some king salmon. This stuff is delicious. Uh, you will never have a better piece of salmon. So what we're gonna do here, I got a double layered in foil. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the grill outside for about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna kind of pack it up with all its uh, marinade inside of there. And I'm gonna throw it on a medium heat out on the grill, like I said, about 20 minutes. Uh, time may vary depending on your grill heat. Just bring it outside. the nicest day of the weekend so far. It is Sunday the 14th and it's probably about 76 degrees right now. Okay, so the grill's at about 475. I actually want to turn that down a little bit. I don't need it that hot. Like 450 is pretty good. I'm going to put it back here, skin side down for a little bit. I'm just going to let it do its thing there. So. 15 minutes from now, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna flip it to the other side and then I'm gonna take it back off and then we're gonna be done. So, what we're gonna put with this, a nice uh, mushroom and onion rice pilaf, some broccoli, steamed broccoli, it's gonna be delicious. So, we'll come back, I'll show you the rest of it in about 15, 20 minutes from now. Tim's got some broccoli caught up for the uh, steamed broccoli. To see the dog bowls, they just ate their dinner. I'm they're working. Quite they're quite happy. They gotta, they gotta work up a, a potty before the, the fireworks start. Yeah, we had to feed them. Well, I guess it's not that early, but we're trying to get them ready to go potty before fireworks because it's um, what is it called? Bristol Progress Days. Bristol Progress Days is today, and they shoot off fireworks. So I guess it's all weekend, and the dogs have been scared. So. I'm sauteing up some onions and um, mushrooms that my mom grew. Fresh grown portobellos. Yep, we picked them out of a box today. <laughs> and then I'm getting ready to use my cheat rice pilaf. So I don't know if this one's any good, but we'll see. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add this sauteed stuff to the um, the pilaf so that I don't feel like I'm che uh, cheating too badly. At least I have some fresh ingredients. So. That's what I'm working on. That's what we're working on in here. And the salmon is outside on the grill doing its thing. If you guys have never seen one of these little uh, steaming devices, they fold up really nice. And you can just plop them into one of your pots here. Of course, I messed it up. <laughs> and it'll hold your vegetables nice in there. And you can steam them. And it puts away really nicely. So you don't have to have any super fancy vegetable steamer i don't know where she got this from but walmart walmart audrey made a very good purchase when she bought this <laughs> it works great i highly recommend it for any of your vegetable steaming purposes so you can see i went shopping today got my gap bag <laughs> all kind of, and then she got me some nice shorts got so. him some nice new shorts and i left the counter a disaster so but hey, you know what? I had you know, some dogs to swim with. It's so. about living your best life. <laughs> Not right. about faking it and, and just, you know what? Sometimes the house is gonna be, you're gonna have something laying around. And that's okay. I'm here to tell you that's okay. <laughs> you know, because we're gonna cook beautiful meals and we're gonna 
have a lot of fun, and then the house is going to get cleaned up tonight and tomorrow. And yeah, so everything will be right. You don't have to stress about anything. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you. I'm convinced. Good. <laughs> it's all that matters. All right, back to the next to final step. Still holding it about 450. We're going to put that salmon up on top now. So, I want to finish it up here. I'm going to take it. Now we're putting it non skin side down. And just kind of let it chill up here for a little bit. Honey, how long was that on for? 15 minutes. 15 so minutes. the last five minutes are going to be with skin side down, but I want it up top so that you, you don't uh, dry out the skin on there. And it really isn't going to dry out anyway because there's a lot. Please get out of it. Decent, no. <laughs> Trying to lick that grease trap. Are you licking grease, V? Her favorite thing in the world is salmon. Raw salmon. She loves it. So she knows there's salmon cooking in here. She wants to try to get back mm -hmm. there and get whatever she can. So the last five minutes, I'm turning it over. It's got the mixture of uh, the, the marinade inside of it. And it really won't dry out, but you just want to get that top a little firm. Uh, it's still going to come out super soft, though. So it's just my way of doing it. I like 15 to 5 on a 20-minute cook. Skin side down for 15, 5 minutes on the top side. That skin's going to peel off when you take it off of there. It's going to be perfect. So we'll come back here in just a few minutes and take it off. Punk, are you excited to have salmon? How about you, V? Are you excited for salmon? Yes, we want salmon. <laughs> Daddy, we want salmon. Salmon. Right, this is it. The moment of truth. Time to pull the salmon off. Oh yeah, it's starting to just drizzle into the, the bottom sheet here. You can see just a little bits of juices leaking out there. What we're gonna do now, pull that tray into here. Time to flip this over. I want the skin side on the bottom. Mm. There we go. All right. So now it's just gonna rest here for a little bit. Throw can go off. And it's just gonna sit inside the tin foil here and kind of continue to uh, to baste inside of its juices there. So the pilaf and the broccoli is done. Being safe, remember to turn off the gas all together. Face a puppy, you still want the salmon. She is a salmon hound. She loves it. Yep, this is prime salmon too. You want to get this, you want to get this king salmon before the, the fall. Once you get, once they get to the fall run there, you can catch a lot of salmon, but the meat quality is way worse. They're gonna get soft and squishy and not very tasty. You get a spring to summertime salmon. I don't even know how to explain it. It's gonna be the softest, sweetest salmon you'll ever taste. And way better than any Atlantic salmon. Make sure whatever salmon you're buying, if you can get a Chinook or King salmon, get that. Followed by a Coho salmon, and then maybe the Atlantic salmon. But I don't know what our punk dog is doing over here, but. He's tired. He yeah, swam all day. He's not interested in food, apparently. Punky! Maybe he heard a firework. What are you doing, Punky? Are you tired? He says, yeah, I went swimming today, guys. Good boy. Visa didn't go swimming. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow he'll go swimming tomorrow. Yeah, she's a little sore. All right. We're okay. going to bring this in, and then uh, we're going to finish off the rest of the food and open this back up, and we'll show you what the finished product looks like after 20 minutes on the grill. All right, final final product here. We're here. Unboxing or unwrapping this salmon. Got yourself a nice... Oh, it's steaming back up here. You're going to have yourself a nice, juicy salmon. It's going to pull away from the skin, so when you portion this off of here... It is gonna, it's gonna portion off nice. We're gonna pair it with some rice pilaf and the steamed broccoli. So we'll put this all together here. Let me uh, just do this. Sorry, I'm gonna go and get a little, wipe my hands clean. All right. Okay. It looks about half poor, oh yeah. 
We'll it just separates right off of there. We'll come right back after we get the dish all made. Yep. Looks pretty good. All right, we came back here. Uh, we have the portion dishes. And just to be nice, we got a little bit extra for the dogs. Now, I mentioned how much Visa loves salmon. He's a, oh, yeah. She's going <laughs> to eat that right up. Blue dog. He's deaf. And blind. <laughs> Good boy, Tyler. Oh, you made a mess. Fourteen and a half. All right, red dog. I know you're not going to miss this. You made a bigger <laughs> mess. You made a big mess, boo. Oh, it's so good. All right. Well, we're going to let these guys clean up. And we're going to have a sit-down dinner where we're going to try to eat all this. We'll see how successful we are. The, the tail is in, in telling you how this all tastes. So I want to make sure that, boy, that's good. How this really tastes all together. This, this king salmon just flakes right off. It, it's so good. <laughs> My dog would eat it all. I mean, she has no shame. There's no shame in her game. Um, it's so tender. It's so soft, yet firm at the same time. I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, if you ever had salmon, sometimes it can get dry. It is almost impossible to dry out king salmon. Uh, this stuff is, I don't want to say the M word, but I'm gonna, it's moist. And it is really, it's soft yet firm at the same time. Uh, it's delicious. Paired together with the, um, the rice pilaf, can't beat it. Um, I think it's some garlic herb rice pilaf that Audrey made. And then she added in some portobello mushrooms and the onion into it. It is most excellent. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say. It is delicious. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna try a salmon recipe, try this. It is, it is good all the way. So now we have done the, the full perspective on here. And now I can finally say, I am gonna go and enjoy this. Audrey's gonna come and enjoy this. And now I want you to really have a good night. We will see you on the next one. Good night.